Okay, hi everybody. Today I wanted to show you a little project that uh, I've been working on. I've done recently. Um, it's a tricorder. Uh, the actual designation is a, a, a TR560. Uh, it's the next generation Star Trek, the next generation tricorder. Um, but I've added a little bit more to it. I just want to show you the outside of it. It's the it's the case. It's actually the the tricorder toy that. Um, the Playmates released in, in the 90s um, so that's the actual case is sort of the Playmates toy and um, there have been some modifications to it you can probably see there that there's uh, there's some cables there um, and the top's been modified as well um, to allow a couple of uh, sensors through and if we open it up the insides obviously been modified as well it's got a new set of stickers on it um, uh, and you can see where the, the cables are in the middle there. They connected two parts of the body together. Um, on the rear, the clip's gone, uh, and there's a, uh, a small aperture there, which you probably guessed by now what that is, but we'll, we'll come on to that. You might be thinking, what's so special about this? Um, it looks like the, the Playmates tie with maybe a cable in between. Uh, there are projects out there on the internet with LEDs that light up the tricorder making it look nice. Um, I've taken this one step further. Inside this tricorder is a Raspberry Pi, which some of you might have guessed from that anyway. The camera is a Raspberry Pi camera and you can just sort of see a little bit of circuitry inside there. So I'll pop this, you have a power boost circuit there um, that's actually connected to a battery um, which is powering the whole thing. Uh, and that's what the black and red cables are in between there. So what we'll do is we'll power it up and um, oops, power it up and let you see what it what it does. Accessing library computer data. So this is the tricorder. You might be thinking it looks good. You know, it's got a screen on it, a nice color screen there, a little bit of an Elkai sort of data bit, um, screen. Um, but it's got more than just that. Yeah, it's got the color screen uh, and it's got some LEDs that you thin light up. But these buttons all work. There is a, a capacitive touch sensor running every one of these buttons. And these buttons actually do something. Um, within here, there's also a number of sensors which I showed you at the top of the uh, the tricorder earlier on, um, so they're all controlled by the tricorder itself. So we're going to start with uh, this button here, the accept pool. So a little bit of an animation, and then it's a, a, a Wi-Fi scan. So what it's doing is just using the Pi uh, to do a bit of a Wi-Fi scan in the area. You can see we've got one of two uh, SSIDs. Um, next page uh, is just it's actually my booster um, and then we just go back to the uh, the main screen by pressing that button yeah, in the bottom corner we've got a clock uh, just a very basic sort of clock uh, ticking along there that was just something I did just to uh, sort of get my in my head around uh, how this is all going to work I just left it in there so moving on now this uh, intership track order looks like it does a blue screen but what this actually is is a thermal imaging camera so this uh, sensor here is a thermal imaging camera a very small thermal imaging camera if I move my hand in between you can see so the heat of my hand which is there uh, Got relatively, it's not the best distance in the world, but it's, it's not got a bad distance on it at all. Uh, 
then back to uh, the main screen. Uh, the I button just gives you the basic system stats, uh, CPU use, memory use, uh, things like that. Just for again, it was just a bit, a bit of testing more than anything else um, to see what the system could do. I'll show you the E button, captures an image, it gives you a five second countdown and captures an image. Program complete. Uh, and shows it back on screen. That's, uh, that's my cat sound, my printer next to me. Asleep. Um, this is accessible offline, uh, just a normal SSH into the Raspberry Pi and there's a folder with all the images in, they're all named as you would expect, time and date, so you can add as, add as many as you want and access them uh, later on. So next we'll go through the, uh, this F button here. <laughs> And as you can see there, it's got a, a, a multiple readout there. This is one of the uh, the sensors here uh, in the middle. Uh, and what this is, is a, what it says on the screen, temperature, um, volatile organic compounds, humidity and pressure. Uh, it's giving you a rough reading of, of this room right now. The idea being that you could point this at something or put it in a range of something, uh, an object, and it would give you a more accurate reading. Um, So what you can see here, we've got a bit of an object temperature. Um, you point it at an object, it will give you a, a readout. If I move my hand a bit closer, you can see that the, the temperature is increasing uh, from my hand. The bar is changing colour there. Uh, try and close it off altogether. Remove it again. Again, the idea being, point, being that you could point it at an object. Uh, it will give you a rough reading about um, what that temperature is. Probably shouldn't have, uh, have closed the hole, but there you go. Um, it's coming back to normal now. So that's my tricorder in a nutshell, uh, with a few bits of uh, inputs on it. Different things that it can do, different sensors. You've got the animations and uh, the sound. Long range scan of planet complete. Um, and this is it. So. And let me know what you think. Let me see. Let me know what you think. Any ideas? Let me know if things I can add to it, take away. Uh, I think going forward, um, I would like to have some sort of magnetic read switch so that when I opened and closed it, it would turn it on, turn it off, put it into standby mode. Um, that would be nice. Although the space inside here is pretty non existent. Oh, um, I had to squash everything in here. Uh, there is literally, I mean, case isn't great there anyway, but I had to squash everything in that there's no space for anything else. Inside this section uh, is the battery, um, hence the wires. The, the, the cable, the ribbon cable, is for the um, touch sensor inputs in between. So I probably couldn't fit much more in, if anything, in at all um, than I already got in this form factor. Uh, something bigger than yes, but something this size, no. And I wanted to keep it looking like a tricorder. I didn't want to increase the size or the footprint in any way. I wanted to use it exactly as it was. Um, and this is what it's come out like. So let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, yeah and when we're done, we just press this power button. Please confirm deactivation request. Deactivation complete. Now disconnected from this terminal. Uh, and that's it, power off.